Hello friends, in this video we are going to discover the top 20 most visited cities in Europe. Europe receives around 746 million international arrivals every year, but what are the most visited cities in Europe? In this video, I thought it would be helpful to outline the most popular cities in Europe because this serves as a great starting point for trip planning, especially if you want to do a multi-city trip. Kindly make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon before we start this video about the 20 most visited cities in Europe. Now let's dig deeper into each of the top 20 most visited cities in Europe. Number 20. Hamburg, Germany. 4 million annual visitors. Hamburg is Germany's second largest city. Hamburg has long been one of Europe's largest ports, and like most port cities, Hamburg is a little rough around the edges. But Hamburg has undergone a major transformation over the past few years and it's now often considered Germany's hippest city. Now you'll find plenty of new restaurants, bars, and clubs. Number 19. Munich, Germany. 4.2 million annual visitors. Munich, the capital of Bavaria, is home to centuries-old classically German buildings and multiple museums. Munich is also known for its annual raucous Oktoberfest. Speaking of Oktoberfest, Munich is also a beer drinker's paradise so don't forget to spend some time in one of the city's many beer gardens. Number 18. Brussels, Belgium. 4.3 million annual visitors. Home of the European Union, Brussels is one of those cities that everyone has heard about but it doesn't have many must-see sites. Brussels has a reputation for being somewhat boring and expensive, thanks to all the government leaders, but the city is starting to attract more of a creative class so it's slowly shaking off its stodgy image. If nothing else, you'll have a steady supply of amazing beer. And chocolate. And fries. And waffles. And beer. And chocolate. And beer. Number 17. Este Petersburg, Russia. 4.5 million annual visitors. St. Petersburg is known as the cultural capital of Russia and it's full of grandiose 18th and 19th century architecture. The city is also home to 221 museums including the world-famous Hermitage Museum and the Russian Museum. St. Petersburg feels much more European than Russian, visit Moscow if you want a full Russian experience. Number 16. Florence, Italy. 5.1 million annual visitors. Along with Rome, Florence is a must-see Italian destination and it's only a 1.5 high-speed train right away from Rome. And while Florence is a popular day-trip destination, it's best experienced for a few days, plus the crowds thin out at night. And you'll need a few days to take in all the city's beauty and its delicious food. Number 15. Dublin, Ireland. 5.5 million annual visitors. Dublin is a small yet vibrant city that has a way of charming its visitors thanks to its friendly locals. Dublin also has a large student population and an excellent pub culture so the nightlife offers something for everyone. The city is fairly small so it's a very manageable city to explore on foot. However, Dublin is fairly expensive, especially food and alcohol. Number 14. Madrid, Spain. 5.6 million annual visitors. Spain's capital and largest city, Madrid is a top destination for good reason, it's a lively city that's both affordable by Western European standards and boasts outstanding culture, architecture, art, and excellent nightlife. But it's also a fairly modern city so you'll discover that much of the architecture is from the 20th century which can sometimes be a surprise to many visitors looking for old Europe. That said, it is a city overflowing with energy and old world charm that's worth checking out. Number 13. Venice, Italy. 5.6 million annual visitors. The amazingly beautiful city of Venice is sinking so visit before it's too late. Venice is another one of the small cities that suffer from over-tourism especially since it's a popular port for giant cruise ships. However, Venice empties out at night so if you stay in the city overnight you'll be rewarded with a completely different experience. Number 12. Moscow, Russia. 6 million annual visitors. Moscow still remains a bit of a mystery to many Western visitors especially since getting an entry visa is a bit of a bureaucratic hurdle and the long flight adds to the difficulty. 
But this massive city offers a lot to people looking to get off the beaten tourism path. Number 11. Berlin, Germany. 6.3 million annual visitors. It was once famously said that Berlin is poor but sexy. And while Berlin isn't as cheap as it once was, it's still one of the cheapest major European cities. Berlin continues to be one of the hottest nightlife slash clubbing destinations in the world, but you'll find that the city offers a ton of other cultural activities as well, including many excellent museums. Number 10. Athens, Greece. 6.3 million annual visitors. Athens is often the jumping-off point to explore the famous Greek islands, but it's also the historical capital of Europe as well as the birthplace of democracy, arts, science, and philosophy of Western civilization. And, of course, Athens is home to the Acropolis and Parthenon. While the city is safe, Athens as a whole is kind of drab and gritty so it's not your typical beautiful European city that many people imagine it would be. Number 9. Milan, Italy. 6.5 million annual visitors. Milan is the fashion capital of Europe and the business-slash-finance capital of Italy. It undoubtedly has a more buttoned-up vibe than the rest of Italy, and it wouldn't be my top Italian destination, but it's still a great city if you've already explored Italy's other highlights. Number 8. Vienna, Austria. 6.6 million annual visitors. Vienna is constantly a top contender for the most livable city in Europe so it's no surprise it's a major tourist destination. Vienna's mix of Art Nouveau, Gothic, and Baroque architecture makes it one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And you can't visit without spending a few hours enjoying a coffee and traditional desserts at the many traditional Viennese coffee houses. Number 7. Prague, Czech Republic. 6.8 million annual visitors. It's cliché to say but Prague truly feels like a fairy tale city if you remove most of the tourists, that is. And while Prague isn't as cheap as it once was, you can still save quite a bit compared to other cities on this list, especially on food and alcohol. Summers do get quite busy so visit during the other times of the year if you want to escape the crowds. Number 6. Barcelona, Spain. 7 million annual visitors. Barcelona finds its way onto most travel itineraries, and for good reason. This Spanish has a vibrant food scene, a plethora of unique historic architecture, great Mediterranean weather, beautiful beaches, and some of the best nightlife in Europe, many consider it the top nightlife destination in the world. Number 5. Amsterdam, Netherlands. 8.8 million annual visitors. Despite its relatively small size, Amsterdam is still a major European tourism destination thanks to its beautiful architecture, lovely canals, and liberal social policies. It's also consistently ranked one of the best places to live in Europe. Amsterdam is certainly one of the most expensive cities in Europe especially when it comes to accommodation, which tends to happen when small cities receive millions of visitors. Over-tourism is a problem in Amsterdam so I recommend visiting during the off-season if you want to avoid some of the crowds. Number 4. Rome, Italy. 10.3 million annual visitors. It's no surprise that Rome is one of the most visited cities in Europe as it's widely considered the world's second most historically, educationally and culturally interesting and beautiful city. Rome is another heavy-hitting tourism destination that can easily fill a week or longer visit. Rome is also well-connected to Italy's great cities and regions, making it an excellent first stop before exploring the rest of this amazing country. Number 3. Istanbul, Turkey. 14.7 million annual visitors. Istanbul has suffered from political instability and security concerns for quite a while but things have calmed down considerably over the past few years. This has made tourism an unstable skyrocket and now the city is one of the most visited cities in the world especially for Europeans wanting to experience Istanbul's east meets west vibe. Number 2. Paris, France. 19.1 million annual visitors. Paris has always been a major tourist destination and rightfully so. In fact, Paris has been nipping at London's heels for multiple years and many experts expect Paris to be the most visited European city within a few years. Furthermore, France is the most visited country in Europe. Personally, Paris is my favorite city, I lived there for a few years so I might be biased, 
because it is absolutely jam-packed with famous sites, museums, nightlife, and culture. Paris also has an excellent metro system so getting around is quick and easy. Additionally, Paris also boasts the highest number of vacation rental apartments along with a robust hotel and hostel inventory. Number 1. London, United Kingdom. 19.6 million annual visitors. London has been the most visited city in Europe for multiple years, in fact, London is one of the most visited cities in the world. London is one of my favorite cities and it makes an excellent first stop for many travelers for multiple reasons. First, London has multiple major airports so flights to from London are plentiful and they tend to have the lowest ticket prices. Second, London is great for first-time travelers because there is no language barrier so it's a nice way to ease into visiting a foreign country. Third, London is simply a fantastic world-class city with so much to do, see, and eat. You can easily spend a week or more here and never run out of things to experience. So, which is your favorite cities among the top 20 most visited cities in Europe? Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, click the subscribe button so you can receive more content like this. Post your favorite places among the top 20 most visited cities in Europe in the comments below. I'd love to read them and I'm sure others would too.